Hey, hey guys. guys! Today we are at the Neuschweinstein castle in Bavaria. We're going to show you the castle from outside, from inside, and we're going to have fun today. Hey guys, thanks for coming back to our channel. In this video, we're going outside of Switzerland into Germany in just about a three hour drive from Zurich. You can be at this beautiful castle in Neuschwanstein, so in Bavaria in Germany. If this looks familiar to you, this was Walt Disney's inspiration when creating the Cinderella castle. This is a 19th century castle commissioned by Ludwig II, so pretty recent as far as European castles go. We visited in January, but you can see here footage from the spring and summer. It is beautiful all year long, so you really can't go wrong. So stay tuned. We're going to show you what to do, how to get there, how to get a ticket and more. So this is the ticket center and you have different tickets uh, possibilities. One is just the uh, Neuschweinstein castle that we did, but you can also do the combination of the castle, the museum of the Bavarian kings and the other castle, the Hohenschwangau. And I recommend reserving online so to have some slots for the guided tour. All right, so once you have your ticket to actually get from Schwengau, which is where you'll either get there by public transportation or by car, you could park at Schwengau to actually get to the castle. You can either walk, it's about 30 minutes uphill from the ticket center we just showed you, or you could spend seven euros for a horse-drawn carriage. The carriages are motorized, so the horse isn't doing all of the legwork. They're motorized carriages, but those are really the only two ways to get up there. You can't drive. So because I was seven months pregnant when we were filming this, we did take the carriage up there and it only took about 15 minutes, so really quick. All right. In the station, vielen Dank. Viel Spaß oben. All right, so we arrive at the terminus. Everyone steps out, and we are going to wow, walk five minutes to the castle. So the entrance of the castle is to the left when you arrive, and then we'll visit, I guess, all the castle. We'll see. And the entrance. Wow. Beautiful. So you're here. This is the entrance and we are waiting for our guided tour in here. So after you enter, this is where you will enter into the castle itself. So you need to buy tickets online or in the information center, not here. And it'll tell you when your number and time is called and then you can scan your way through and they are not joking about the time you gotta be here so be here on time so we were a few minutes late like two minutes late but they didn't let us in they could let us in later so we are going to wait just at the foot of the castle with a delicious apfelstrudel and some warm things uh, some warm drinks and then we'll go back to see the castle so be on time I'll show you when we get there <laughs> where you need to scan. Yes. They're not super forgiving. Yeah, one minute uh, late. But they're even... letting us come back an hour later, so yes. they accommodated yes. in the end. Yes. But can eat a little. Exactly. Bon appetit. So when you arrive, you have to scan your tickets there on time, uh, maybe before, and ask exactly when to scan it. Um, and then you have the castle. So once you enter the castle, in 90% of the rooms, you are not allowed to film or take any photos, and you will be with the tour guide the entire time, so you really can't get around this. So I found a few clips and photos from the internet just to give you an idea of what it looks like. There are 16 finished rooms that you can visit, so it is really beautiful, and we definitely recommend and getting a tour of the inside, not just the grounds. And hopefully this amalgamation of photos and videos gives you a little taste of what you can expect to experience inside. So after the guided tour portion of this ends, you can film and use your phone again. So you will pass through a model of the castle. You can see where you just visited. Then you'll check out what was the working kitchen of the castle. You could see where the staff worked and cooked and things like that. That's before you'll head to the gift shop and then you can head back out and explore more of the grounds. So we are going to uh, have a view on the castle close to the Marienbrücke. It is closed-ish. <laughs> it's definitely icy, but we're going to 
go on a little hike, probably 10 minutes, and have try to have a better view on the castle. So we are five, seven minutes into our little walk. It's a little steep, but it's fine. And uh, you just have such a beautiful view on the lake there and also on the other castle and the other lakes under the, uh, the Alps. So beautiful. So Louis is trying to access an icy path that might be closed in the winter. We'll see if he gets any footage of he does. I'll put it in here and I'll show you. So I'm just hanging out. Um, there's like outdoor places to eat and drink and I just got a bratwurst. So I'm gonna hang out, enjoy the view of the castle and then see what other kind of pictures and stuff we can get. So we arrive here. The goal is just to have a little view. We'll see if we can get this view from there. So there is a dangerous kind of place, especially when it's when it's snowy. Otherwise, when it's not snowing and when it's open, probably in the summer, you have that bridge that actually gives you an amazing view. We'll show the view, but uh, in the winter, maybe just stop at the first stop and if you are if you don't want to take any risks. <laughs> so we were by the castle. We went up here. We are now here. You can go see the castle from the bridge in the summer or not uh, in January at least. There, are, there is a possibility to, to climb, but it's very steep and there is a cliff. So careful about this, but uh, you can have a nice view. I will show you just uh, the picture I could take. Uh, Alexis didn't come with me, but uh, yeah, amazing castle. So we are walking down. It was good to go up with uh, the carriage or maybe the bus. If you have the chance, you have the bus, but it's very easy to walk down. It might be easy also to walk up, but uh, it was, we didn't know if it was icy or not, but definitely fine. So we are done with our way down. We are back in the village. You can also see the Hohenschwangau uh, castle and the Museum of the Kings of Bavaria by the lake. We did just the, the Neuschwanstein castle but this is a, maybe a full day or two days around here. There's also plenty of activities and going to see the, the lakes and stuff around. But for now we're just going to go back to the village. So we are back in the village. You can see the other castle, the Hohenschwangau castle, I think, that you can also visit. And you can see from here the beautiful Neuschweinstein castle, so beautiful. Okay guys, so thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe. We haven't done really many, if any, videos in Germany. Yeah. So if you like this, please let us know in the comments. We're not too far away, happy to do some more. But again, thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye guys. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more videos like this, please make sure to like and subscribe. We'll see you soon.